official with these academics and now the dollop burger brawlers now you guys remember the story about the three ratchets in atlanta who a town stomped the fuck out of their friend because she allegedly squished one of their motherfucking dollar menu burgers. Now, they had to let her know that, listen, shit is real out here in the goddamn streets. Even though, to me, it looked like more than a goddamn dollar menu burger beating. Because you beating somebody for three motherfucking hours, that's the length of a whole basketball game, right? With commercials. You stomping somebody out there, you knock them the fuck out and knock them the fuck back in? When you hear somebody say, listen, I remember going to sleep, I was getting my ass whipped, I will remember waking up, and the ass whipping was still going on. That's some intense shit. Now, pretty much, um, they left her with basically burnt chicken nuggets on her eyes, she had several bruises to her face, she was basically left with all type of cracked ribs, bruises, and of course, she was bleeding profusely. They prevented her from calling the cops, and basically, listen, man, I speculated that, man, they must have been plotting on this chick for a while. To keep it real, that dollar menu burger was probably the last straw. They probably, it probably something to the extent of, listen man, you've been fucking our man too, and you gonna prevent us from eating a motherfucking burger? But now, all three of them are actually arrested, and all three of them that were seen in the video. Now, their names are Chasmine Donald, Takia Strickland, and Armani Kofer. Now, these are the three hooligans that you see in the goddamn viral video. Now, pretty much they were all held on... $13,500 bail. Now, this kind of gives a little bit more credence to really why they were beating her down for a motherfucking dollar burger because it says that one of them has been in jail since last week. Now, listen, excuse me. If you have $13,500 bail, that's the bond for you to get out? Right? That means all you have to do is literally pay 10% and 10% of that would be $1,350? The fact that you can't pay that and you're still in jail from last week and Chas McDonald has been, yeah, it probably means you should be fighting over a goddamn burger. A dollar menu burger at that. So, yeah, pretty much they're all arrested and um, they're all arrested on charges of aggravated assault, false imprisonment, assault with a deadly weapon, and also a uh, battery or whatever the case is. Now, listen, man, these women haven't given their side of the story, but really, does it even matter? I mean... Pointer, which is the victim, she actually doubled down on her story. She said, listen, she is absolutely certain that the reason she got A-Town stomped was because they were at the apartment playing a drinking game, probably sipping some motherfucking lean. And then after when she almost sat on the burger, the chick became so upset that she didn't care about her offering to buy another one back. And that's when the ass whipping started. Now, there was some mention in the video. If you really listen closely, one chick actually said, listen, you stole some shit. So you, you see how they're doing thieves out here in these streets. So we don't know what the case is. However, these hooligans are definitely behind bars and we will see justice being served in this. At least it seems that way because of the national media attention this story has gotten and because of the scrutiny everyone's looking at it i mean these motherfucking hooligans are out of control now a brief look at all their arrest history because that was definitely on clear display because they're arrested now it shows that these chicks they were selling pussy like most of them had uh arrest prior arrests for some doing either doing lewd acts in public or or be trying to solicit prostitution. So these bitches selling pussy. If they're selling pussy, they can't get out of jail with a low ass bond. Yeah, they might be fighting over a motherfucking burger. Okay, that's that's what it is. I know it sounds improbable because you're probably thinking, no, they can't be fighting for three hours over a motherfucking dollar burger. Uh, these bitches are selling pussy and they can't get out of jail when the bail is pretty low. They might be, alright? So, you guys get in the comment box, man. We'll keep you updated on this shit. But yeah, the fucker keeps going on. And Atlanta nowadays, they are taken front and center because they definitely want to be known for pure fuckery. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. It's your boy DJ Academics. I'm out.